Hi guys, this is Mrs. Schiebel, and today you're going to be making your very own paper computer. Your computer is going to have your web browser where you're going to put your favorite website, and I haven't drawn mine yet, but you can draw pictures from your site. You're going to have your desktop, which is going to have your icons on it that you would click if you wanted to go to certain things. You're going to have your keyboard. You're going to have your emoji keyboard. And of course, inside every computer, we have the guts of the computer. So you're going to have that inside your computer too. And it's all going to be in your handy dandy carry case. So let's get started. First, choose your color of carry case. Um, I chose purple this time. And you're going to fold it in half. You can see I've already done that. To fold it really centered, make sure your edges are lined up. Line up your edges first and then push down on that. Open it back up and we're ready for the base of our keyboard. You're going to get this paper. This will be your base and go ahead and cut around the edges and when you're done, ta-da! You'll have this. We're going to glue this to our computer case. Um, this line should be matched up with where the center line is. So let's glue the top first. Get your glue out. Go ahead and just glue the top part. It may not be perfect, but try to get that as close as you can. So you can see where I folded my paper should line up pretty much with this line. So now we can fold this part up on the line and glue it down. There we go. So now we have our base. Now, while that is drying, we're going to grab our emoji keyboard. And if you want to color it, um, like I had mine colored, see, it looks way cute when you color it. So I would color it first, and when you're all done coloring it, then go ahead and cut this part out. I'm going to save time and not color color this one but it's all cut out and you can see this white space it needs to go glue onto this white space so let's put our glue on this white space try to line that up and just like that we have our emoji keyboard now while that's drying let's go ahead and get our desktop icons we're going to color these, and you can see you don't have to, you can color them however you want. You can get a little color or a lot of color. Okay, and when you're all done, you're going to cut these out. And then here you have the guts of your computer that you can also color. Okay, and get those cut out too. I have some already cut. Let me grab those. Sorry, it took me a minute to find them. Here they are. So we're going to glue these on. Uh, we can put them however we want to. And they're not all going to fit. I think you're going to have one extra. And it's kind of like a phone or an iPad. You know, the icons are really big on the screen. Um, Windows 10 also has it like this. they fill in the screen. So go ahead and get that done. And these don't really represent a specific thing that's real. Um, they're just kind of whatever you want them to be. 
This one would be like photos in my mind. This one would be a little notepad maybe. Um, maybe an address book. Just whatever you want them to be. All right. When you get done with your icons, we're going to fold up this emoji keyboard. It should be pretty dry by now. And we're ready to put the guts of the computer. So you can kind of match it by size. But here we have the central processing unit. This is like your brain of your computer. It's very important to have a CPU. CPU for central processing. And that's going to go right there. We also have our little ROM. ROM is a memory. It's kind of um, the part of the computer where information is stored and it can't be changed. So we're going to put this little guy here. Nope, we're going to put it here. Sorry. Like I said, match it up with the size. <laughs> Every computer has a fan. Let's just do it this way. Put this on here. Okay, and then we have the hard drive. Pretty sure the hard drive goes here. We also have a disk drive. It's where you put your disks. You can watch movies, listen to music. And finally we have the RAM. This is uh, also memory. Different kind of memory. That's where information is temporarily stored. So you have two kinds of memory here. Anyway, we'll talk more about that later. Let's get that down. Now we are ready to cut our keyboard out. And this is going to be our web browser where we're going to look up our favorite website. So let's cut that out. Ooh, look how fast I cut that out. We're going to go ahead and glue the keyboard right here. I feel like I didn't cut something right. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and glue our web browser. And there it is. So remember when you type in a web address, it goes right here. And then you can show what you would see on your web address after you do that. So I don't think I cut, I cut something wrong. This one doesn't look like that, but I'm sure you'll cut much better than I did. All right guys, let me see it when you're done. Bye.